Yeah. All right, we have made it to the weekend, and that means we've got to see what's hitting the big screen this week. And we've got a couple of uh, big movies coming out. Joining us this morning for our weekend movie watch list, as always, we have film critic Tom Santilli back with us this morning. Tom, so great to see you again. Um, yes. This is a holiday weekend. Some kids are, you know, out of school. It's a longer weekend for some of them. What can people expect to see in theaters this weekend? Kevin, so great to be with you here today on this on this special day here. Uh, yeah, th there's some big movies out there. They're in theaters right now. The biggest, of course, is the Super Mario Brothers movie. This is a long-awaited, a highly anticipated film. It's hard to believe that uh, there's never been an animated Super Mario Brothers film in theaters until now, even though the character first debuted, like, in 1981. This is a really good family film. Uh, I, I took my, my six-year-old Clayton to see this film, and he said that it was better than beauty and the beast but not quite as good as paw patrol the movie so Ooh, take all right that for what you will <laughs> yeah whatever you you uh, analyze out of that <laughs> but yeah i found this to be you know fun there's a lot of nintendo references there's a lot of stuff in the film that people will kind of smile at you know could it have been better sure but was it good enough and kind of what people expect absolutely uh the other film that's in theaters is a movie called Air. This is the story, uh, this is directed by Ben Affleck, and it stars Matt Damon, Viola Davis, Justin, uh, Jason Bateman. And uh, this is the story of how Michael Jordan was signed by Nike uh, and, and started the Air Jordan, which of course was like, you know, revolutionized the shoe industry. It's a really good movie. Uh, it's fun. And, you know, I think people will get into that as well. So a couple good choices this weekend at the box office. Yeah, I definitely want to see that one. And then, yeah, I was kind of bummed. I heard, you know, these are people that don't have necessarily uh, backed, you know, credits, but, you know, through social media, I just see people say, hey, I saw Mario. And it was like, you know, it hit some nostalgic points, but it just was they didn't feel like a great movie. But I think to your point, it's got to be like a, the kids are going to love it, right? The kids are absolutely going to love it. And I think there's, again, it's it's enough for adults, too. You know, it doesn't have that coolness factor like the Lego movie had. You know, when you yeah. watch Lego movie and it, like, ties into your nostalgia and it had kind of like a cutting edge feeling to it. But, but Kevin, real quick here, you know, I, I'm going to change my glasses here because I have, I might have some allergies. Oh boy. Um, so in case I get a couple tears uh, going here, I just wanted to throw these shades on. <laughs> <laughs> no, but everybody knows every, this is your final day here uh, at WXYZ. I have had the pleasure of sharing this movie segment and talking with you. I wanted to thank you on air for just how comfortable you've made me feel uh, every week. And, dude, your superpower oh. is, is, how, is how great you are with making people feel that i only know you through the segment but somehow i feel like we're best friends and i think that's what everybody out here watching feels when they watch you uh so you. i got you a little gift there yeah, that's from that? me just, this just came running over to me uh by our state chandelier nick so thank you tom this is you know and my, my wife Pull tells that out. Me, my wife talks to me too about uh She's like, you got a bromance going on with Tom. When are you guys going to hang out <laughs> Oh, man, look at this. We got John Wick. Oh, and then because you told I me, see. You, you told me a couple weeks ago that you've never seen the John Wick, so I had to get you that. And then I know you're from Chicago, and so, but there was a part of me that was like, dude, if he's never seen Blues Brothers, I just that doesn't sit well with me. So I had to get you the greatest Chicago movie of all time. Man. There's also some John Wick swag in there, including an hourglass uh, and a John Wick shirt. Check this out. There you go. There's two of them. There we go. Chapter four. <laughs> Look at that. You won't even know. I could wear this to my, uh, you know, I'll wear this my first day of work. How's that sound? They'll there love me over there. That's your style for sure. So I figured that would, that would work. Man, Tom, you've been there so great doing these segments with. I, I can't thank you enough. And this is, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is, I didn't expect you to do any of this. So thank you. And, well, of uh, course, man. Hey, I'm not, I'm not too, uh, you know, it's good to show appreciation to people again you don't get the chance that often so uh really hope you the best you and your family and you guys are going to do great in chicago the future uh is bright which is why i had those shades as you well you know and the sunglasses thing i didn't think about that i could have had i could have done the sunglasses <laughs> thing too because they were trying to make they were making me all teary-eyed this morning in like our six o'clock <laughs> hour i've had to say goodbye to like five different people in different segments because we're on for four and a half hours throughout the morning so uh, yeah. yeah i just you know i wish you all the best tom and um, I, I appreciate you, and, and I love you know talking movies every single week. So uh, I will be going to MovieShowPlus.com to find all my <laughs> reviews that I want to find out for uh, in, our, in our upcoming weeks. Even though we don't get to do this segment anymore, I know you're going to continue doing the yeah. segment here. So uh, thank yes. you again, Tom. And uh, and and we'll, what is it the line you say at the end here? We'll, we'll see you at the movies. 
I'll see you at the movies, man. And we'll see you uh, in Chicago and, uh, you know, great things ahead. And uh, thank you for everything you've done for the viewers again, because we feel like family and, and that's a lot uh, to your credit. Thank you, Tom. All right. I'm going to I'm going to go weep in the corner and uh, <laughs> we're, we're going to send it to break now. But Tom Santilli, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. All right. All right. You as well. We'll be right back.